Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to calibrate the Z offset on your Ender 3 V2 with the Ender Series touchscreen. It should also apply to the Ender 3 and the Ender 3 Pro if you have the touchscreen with the 4.2.7 board installed. First, let's start by heating up our bed. It's good to heat up the bed to the temperature that you often print at when you calibrate this. Another nice feature about this firmware is you can turn the sound off. Now there's no sound when you click on the buttons. Another nice thing about this firmware is that you can do things such as PID tuning directly from the touchscreen. There's also various leveling menu settings that you can use such as e-step calibration, PID tuning in here as well, and then the automatic and manual bed leveling. That's what we'll be using today. You're able to view the leveling mesh, you can print a test pattern, and you can also change the leveling settings that the test pattern is printed at. We'll go ahead and run a print test pattern after we complete the Z offset calibration. Now that the bed has been heated for a few minutes, let's go ahead and home the printer. Do that directly from the menu here. Notice that the probe doesn't fully retract after each probing. So let's get started and go ahead and get a piece of paper and we'll use that just as a guide to tell us when we're getting close. You can start lowering it and you can do this by eye. You don't need to use the paper at first but once you get close it's good to use the paper to tell when you're almost touching the bed. Now that the nozzle is closer to the bed, I'm going to use the paper to tell me when I'm really close to the bed. This way I can stop once it pinches the paper. Now it's starting to pinch it a little bit, so I'll go ahead and give it a few more steps, and I'll use that as my first test print height. And I click back, and it stores the settings. Now you can see right here the settings are stored, and you're ready to complete a test print. So print test pattern run validation pattern. I'm going to go ahead and do it at 205 degrees with a 65 degree bed temperature and it's at minus 3 Z offset. Good. And run validation pattern. This firmware was designed for the Ender 3 Pro but it works on the Ender 3 V2 if you have the 4.2.7 board. Buying it directly from first layer will make sure that everything works well. By looking at the pattern and seeing what parts of it are bad, and if they're not all getting good adhesion, then you can lower it a few more steps, or you can raise it if it looks like it's squished too much. Here you can see the pattern is getting pretty good adhesion across the board, and so I'm going to call this good. If it looked like parts weren't sticking, then you might want to lower it a few more steps and try again. Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you found it helpful, like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what other types of videos you might like to see for the Ender 3 V2. And I'll do what I can to make them happen. Thanks, have a good day.